Welcome back to topic 12.1. You can use the length of objects you know to estimate the length of other objects. <clears throat> Some small paper clips are one inch long. Use the small paper clip to estimate how long the eraser is. The eraser is about two paper clips long, so it's about two inches long. You can estimate with objects that are about one foot and one yard in length too. The book is one foot. The baseball bat is one yard. One yard is about three feet long, so it's a lot different. Convince me, is your height closer to four feet or four yards? How do you know? <clears throat> Your height is closer to about four feet. How do you know? Well, I'm going to say your book <clears throat> is one foot long. And if used to estimate my height It would show about four books tall. Okay, go ahead and re stop the re uh, video, pause it, and you can write down the answer to the convince me. Moving on to guided practice. Write the name and length of an object whose length you know. Then use an object to help you estimate the length of an object shown. So the objects they gave us was a pencil and a desk. Number one, the pencil. An object's length I know. And our objects might be a little different because your pencils at home might be a little longer or a little shorter. So if you wanna do this with a paper clip at home, you are welcome to do it. So my paper clip is about an inch long. So about one inch. My pencil, I'm going to measure with my paper clip here, is about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. My pencil is about six inches long. Number two. My book is about one foot long. So we're going to take a little field trip with the camera and we're gonna go look over here and check the book. And here we go. One, two, three, Four. So it looks like my book is one foot long and my desk is about four feet long.
Sorry. And that wraps up our measurement video today. Have a great day. Make sure you turn in your work to Google Classroom. Bye-bye now.